Alright. I always like to use the SAS. I guess it's not necessary, but it makes life easier, so I turn it on. Put my thrusters on full. Now the problem with these is they overheat, and when you're overheating, you're using more fuel than you need. So, I don't put it all the way on full. I go two down from full. And, uh, crap. One thing you always want to make sure to do is check your stages. You don't want some stages going off when they as default because it sets it up stupidly like that. I'd like my parachute deployed last, thank you very much. <coughs> Not at the same time as my lander thrusters. Alright, so... Okay, this should be good. Let's launch and watch. how fast it goes. Lighter is better. Lighter things travel faster. Oh look at Bill. He's always scared. Jeb is a lot more brave. He, he smiles no matter what. Bill, he's just terrified. Nothing's going wrong, but he's freaking out. You're okay, Bill. You'll be good. I know what I'm doing. I've done this a million times. It should work fine. Alright. Detached. Next stage, of course. Turn thrusters off. We want to save the fuel. Look at that beauty. No collisions. That's good. Let's take a look at our map. Apopsis is 113,000. That's good. All good. All good. We're at 50,000 meters. We're going to want to wait for it to be 70,000. That way we can speed up without it complaining at us. When you're at this height, this the warp it really isn't much faster than normal speed, so it's not worth it, because it will whine about it causing damage to your ship, which it could, so all the more reason not to do it. Alright, there we go. Music starts playing and you can warp your ship. Best to look at your map just to make sure. Go pro grade once you've reached Apopsis. This will make you orbit the planet. I like to stay in the map view for this bit, that way I know when I'm finally orbiting the planet and what everything's like. It doesn't tell you in the other view. It's usually best to wait for it to get back to Apopsis, otherwise you're wasting some fuel. You don't have to do it, but it's a bit more efficient this way. Make sure your ship is put back on prograde, because it will float away. It always does. And thrust her up. And look at that. We've got an orbit going around the planet here. Nicely, nicely. We even have a little fuel left over that we can use for the next part. Going to the moon. Alright. Where is our moon at? There we are, set as target. Now, 
one little trick I've found is this pink thing over here the uh, waypoint vector for the moon the one with the circle and the dot yeah what you wanna do is you wanna orbit your planet until that moves close to prograde it doesn't work when it's on prograde it doesn't seem to work as well but when it's about a quarter of the way to prograde it seems to work so right around here is usually best and then burn prograde I'm gonna go to here so I can switch as soon as fuel runs out you will have to use some of your lander fuel it's inevitable but it barely uses any fuel at all so it's good this is all part of getting to moon burn until it switches from a blue line to like a yellow line sort of thing. It'll, it'll be like purple-ish pink with a yellow thing and it'll say moon encounter and that's all good. See, the longer you throttle the less you'll need to because this will start extending even faster. Plus you save on fuel this way, it doesn't burn it as fast because you're not using it. Oh, there we go. Just like this, moon encounter. And then you just speed up a lot. Because you don't want to wait four or five hours to get to the moon. You want to get there in like half a minute. Now, we have encountered the moon. I don't think it's necessary, but I like to reach the moon periapsis before I start to close in on it. Because I believe that's when you're closest to the moon, and that way you don't need as much fuel. Fuel consumption, saving on that, is always the best. You don't have to go exactly on periapsis because once you get past it, it starts being a pain. So I usually go about 10, 5 minutes in. And then you start burning retrograde. Not prograde, retrograde. The one with the X in it. And that will bring your orbit to the moon. And look at that, we've got a nice orbit around the moon right now. Now, let's see here. Let's keep burning. That's a huge orbit to have. Heck, let's just land. I think we could pull it off. Alright. We are far from the moon, but we will be landing now. 
So, let's speed up time to make that landing go that much quicker. Yes, uh, be careful when doing that because it will start to go really fast. And the last thing you want is to crash into the moon before you know what's going on. I've done that lots of times too. I've had lots of experience doing this now, so I've sort of I'm perfecting the art of landing on a pl on the moon.